Video editing isn't just about mastering Premiere, it's about how you approach your work and the lifestyle you live. By the way, if you're still here, you're in the top 20% of the people who are willing to learn and improve. And that is perfect because I'm gonna show you the exact lifestyle adjustments that will make you a faster and more creative video editor. Number one, edit the video before you even start shooting. What I mean is it's crucial to plan your entire edit while scripting your videos. You wanna build a solid foundation by knowing exactly which shots you need to bring your story together. This way, when you start shooting, you're focused, efficient, and only capturing what's necessary. It doesn't really matter how you do this. Personally, I like using Google Docs to create a shot list. For shorter videos, handwritten notes work too. Now, what's great about Google Docs is that you can highlight sections of your script and add comments to keep track of your shots. Plus, of course, it's free. It's also synced across all your devices which makes it perfect for shooting on location. You can of course also use Microsoft Word or probably any other software, whatever you prefer. This way you're not wasting time scrolling through endless video files to find what you actually need. You will save tons of space on your hard drives and it's as simple as dragging and dropping your shots into Premiere. From there I like to double click each clip in the project panel and then use the source monitor to select the exact part I need. I do this for every clip so when I drag it into the timeline, I don't have to worry because I know the shot is already good to go. Number two, invest in gear that truly enhances the way you edit videos. I'm using the Logitech MX Creative Console, an editing tool that brings precision, speed, creative freedom, and better results. It's kind of like upgrading from an old slow car with a faulty manual gearbox to a smooth, fast automatic. It's extremely easy to set up. You literally just plug it in and with the pre-built profiles, you can start editing right out of the box. Creative Console works seamlessly with the Adobe Creative Suite, which makes it work so well. In fact, they're actually partnering with Adobe, which is why you will get three months of Adobe Creative Cloud for free. And this is for both new and existing users. Also, I want to thank Logitech so much for sponsoring this video. If you're using the entire MX ecosystem like I am, you can access all of the MX devices in the Options Plus app. This can be used to customize them. And let's take a look at the MX Creative keypad now. As you can see, you have nine customizable full color LCD keys. You can adjust the brightness as simple as that. And with the two paging buttons, you can navigate an endless amount of pages. It's completely up to you how many controls you want. To add a page, simply click the plus button. You now have an empty page and you can assign any action to these buttons. For example, opening Adobe After Effects. Simply drag and drop them and boom. You get the idea. I can literally control my operating system so much faster. I even programmed Call of Duty Black Ops 2, but unfortunately I don't use that button very often. Oh, but, but I was just taking a break. Now, but what happens when you open up Premiere? It's gonna blow your mind. As soon as you open it, the pre-built profile for Premiere will pop up. The amount of time that these buttons will save you with every project you're working on is insane, from opening up panels to switching to full screen and so much more. And the best part, you can completely customize this Premiere profile to your liking. All the actions and shortcuts are in the actions list and all you need to do is drag them on one of your buttons. Of course, you can also download profiles from the marketplace. Afterwards, you can easily switch between the profiles on top. Now, if you love precision, the MX Creative Dial Pad is gonna help you with that. Navigating the timeline, for example, feels so much smoother with the high precision dial. The four customizable buttons can be used for basically anything. By default, you can undo and redo, start and pause playback, but again, everything is customizable and you can make your very own profile. Oh, and you can easily switch and connect up to three devices so that when you're using a Mac instead of a PC, you can switch with the tap of a button. Now let's see what happens when we press the right bottom button. This is a virtual ring called the action ring and it will give you access to eight additional controls when you're editing, for example, but also when you're just operating your computer. I'm mainly using it to open up my most visited websites, but of course there's a profile for the other apps as well. It is just 
wonderful. Definitely click the link down below to learn more about the MX Creative Console. And now it's time for tip number three, taking tactical breaks to boost your creativity and efficiency. Personally, I've always used the Pomodoro technique. It's very simple. You work in focused, uninterrupted 25 minute intervals called Pomodoros. These are then followed by a five minute break. You need to use that break to grab a coffee, for example, or just go stare outside into the distance, which is also great for resting your eyes and making sure they age well. Not that I know much about that, of course. Now, after four Pomodoros, you take a longer break, about 15 to 30 minutes, which is perfect for a walk or something completely unrelated to work. This method really works because the five minute break will completely reset your mind, making the next 25 minutes much more productive than if you power through without a pause. Over time, this technique will also train your brain to stay focused during these longer intervals. I've been a huge fan for this technique for years. I even used it when I was still in school and studying for tests. And here is a bonus. I actually work during my workout. After a set, when I have to rest two to four minutes, of course, depending on the type of workout, I use that time to work on my iPad. But it's amazing how much I can get done and stay physically active. Number four, create your own presets for literally everything. Let me give you an example in Premiere. This right here is a piece of screen recording. Now, of course, you already know how clean and perfect my recordings look in my videos. Obviously, I have a preset for that. All I do is simply drag my presets on my clips and boom, everything is animated. Same thing for the color grade of my studio recording. I did it once and now I only have to drag the effect onto the source of my clip. This can be applied to literally anything. It is that simple. Number five, learn the most essential shortcuts of Premiere Pro to become extremely successful at mastering the program and you'll learn everything about that in the next lesson. Thank you guys so much for watching.